Now, where I've taken the first lot of side shoots out for cuttings, they've started to root. So they're about ready to uh, be potted on now. So they'll be creating lots of little plants. And what I normally do is just put a little bit of water in the bottom of the glass and, uh, and then make them work for it. But I've got a lot in here because I did let them dry out. They'll, they'll stand dry now, you know, they dry out and wilt, and then you put water in and they'll come back to life again. Um, they're quite hardy. Look at all them roots come on there. It's a lovely little plant, isn't it? So uh, that'll be better than a seedling, I think, because it will um, it'll be more mature than a seedling. You know, it hasn't got all that bother with the cotyledon leaves. Um, it, uh, it'll be uh, fruiting a lot quicker, I think, than a... Uh, than from a seed and it's, it's also got a, a good bulky stem hasn't it um, to start with rather than a little flimsy little thing so I've got two jars of those and then I've got taken some more cuttings so I would be well away so what I'm going to right well I've got the uh, tomato cuttings here this is a few days after I did that first video I've got some pots here to pop them up I'm going to put a few bits of newspaper down the bottom there's always plenty of newspaper about in there, so it's uh, it's cheap and it just keeps a little bit of moisture, stops all the um, the nutrients of the um, compost going out the bottom. So I've got uh, some sieved compost here. It's got some soil in as well, you know, from around the compost heap, but nothing special, just uh, sieved. And here we are. Look at it. Look at it now. I'll say this a few days on. Now it's got hundreds of roots. And see they're going a bit yellow now. So they, they're searching for some nutrients. They're going to find it in this compost, aren't they? So I shouldn't have held that by the stem. Should hold them by the leaves. The stem has little hairs on, which don't like being held. They get a bit damaged. And then, uh, here we are. Bit of seed, seed bit of uh, compost in there and keep it nice and loose because the roots like to go into, the, they like the space, they like it easy to get into the um, into the compost and uh, as I say this is uh, this is literally compost from the compost heap so it's very rich so they should get plenty of nutrients but I think they can stand it. Water it in quite a lot to do here haven't I? I'll just get the others done and then I'll come back. Um, well that's got seven planted up and they've got quite a few more, quite a few more here to do. It was uh, about three in there and then some here that um, I've taken again and haven't uh, taken root yet. But I've got the pallet greenhouse and the polytunnel to put um, tomatoes or things in. So they should have plenty of room. These aren't blight resistant varieties, so uh, they really want to go in inside somewhere and they could still get potato blight. Now, um, let me really see that on the camera. Um, got, uh, got the sweet corn here. Oh yeah, just see that, can't you? Um, that, and I planted that on the 9th of May, and now it's the 22nd of May. So that's uh, ooh, 12 days, 13 days, that hasn't done bad in 13 days. And um, I planted another lot a few days ago and these were the French seeds. And whereas those seeds I was short, these had about 50 in the, in the packet. So I've got tons on this, with the, in this other packet and they're just coming up now. So um, uh, I won't plant them out yet. I'll just see what the weather's going to do. I mean, they've been saying that um, the rest of May is going to be changeable. So it's going to be um, that warm. Well, it's going to be wet. But uh, so if we have the warm front, we won't be getting the cold nights. But we may get a lot of wind and horrible, horrible wind and things, which plants don't like. Right. So we see how things go.